So, 12, three minute rounds Kevin Lucci, can he deliver this time? He says that if he loses, he may well quit. But he says he has his eyes on becoming a millionaire out of this business. Simon, 27, big friend of the great sprinter Frankie Fredericks, and as big a hero in Namibia as him too. Simon making his first defense of the WBO light middleweight championship in the white trunks, the stripes, the red and black stripes of Kevin Lushing with the names of his children written on, April Ruby and Baby Louie. What can Lushing do? Can he upset the odds here? <laughs> you would expect Lushing looking to, to counter punch if he tried to draw Simon in. That's where he gets most effect in his punches. Lushing, the former British welterweight champion, it's only his third fight up at light middle. Has his punch power travelled up with him? that took Felix Trinidad down, remember, there's that trademark left hook of Lucian, and twice it rather bounced off the chin of Simon, who showed a phenomenal work rate on the night that he won the world title against Ronald Winky Wright, starting as an underdog that night, it was a super performance from him. Well, he's come out very confident, Simon, pushing Lucian under the back foot, looking to unload pretty early. Got that little swagger of confidence about himself, Simon, which he, he couldn't uh, expect anything else after a great win over Ronald Wright. Good sharp reflexes from Lushing. He seems to have put his mind right for this fight. He's going to have to show good grit, doubling up well on the jab there. He's a natural counterpuncher, Lushing. lateral movement from him too and just picking off Simon once or twice with his backs to the ropes in the South African looking a bit wild that was just a push there's no punch there no knockdown he really went for the humdinger there Harry Simon oh he's got Lucian very much on the, the back foot he really has good slept Ooh, get from the shot. and that stiffened the legs of Simon that left hook that's the honey punch for Lushing. It worked for him there. Now, can he follow up? He didn't follow up when he had Felix Trinidad in real trouble. He stood back and admired his handiwork, and he paid. And just for a moment there, he definitely shook Simon. He certainly did. Simon looking for a big, really loading up roundhouse punch. Lushing just a little sharper one through the gap and the legs stiffened. Slicker work, cleaner work for me from Lushing in this round too. He's just looked a bit anxious and desperate, Simon. I give that to Lushing. His throw from the famous athletics track where Co Ovet and Cram used to burn up the track on those great nights. In the ring here, is it going to be a great night for Kevin Lushing, Glenn? Well, that was a good punch he threw. Simon was pushing on very hard, but Lushing found it a good left hook. And that just seemed to stiffen the legs of Simon, so Lushing's let Simon know that he does have a bit of power. Second round. Champion Simon White Trunks. Lushing from Beckenham in Kent. right from Lushing, who's definitely trying to present a mobile target. He's looking for counter shots all the time. Cover and counter. But you have to be very careful that Simon doesn't nail him over there with one of those. Wild action over on those ropes. Well, Simon really loading up for his punches. That just leads the, the opportunity for Lucian to get a sharper one in. Maybe just a little overconfident, Simon. Just looking 
a shade wild early, Harry Simon. And finding Lucian a pretty elusive target. Simon looking to break into the big money in this light middleweight, uh, light middleweight division of the and another left on the counter in there too. And he got him with a good right uppercut, Glenn. Yeah, those two solid right hands went in there from Simon. Hurtful punches. Once or twice in the past, Lucian's own chin has looked a bit on the fragile side. You do worry about his punch resistance a little bit. He was in a real up and down of the British title fight with Chris Saunders. I think there were seven knockdowns in three rounds. First off that time, Lucian with the right hand. His hand speed's good, isn't it? Yes, he's got fast hands. Also, he's been pretty elusive. He's drawing Simon in. Simon's missing quite wildly, and then good counters from Lucian. Patton's already set. Pressure from Simon. Counter shots, fast ones, and some of them sharp and snappy from Lucian. Again, it just seemed to be the cleaner punch, didn't it? Lucian's counter. this from Lucian he's covering up well so far he's doing this brilliantly and he's making Simon look very very wild Simon still managed to get through with a few meaty looking punches Crystal Palace live world title action for you tonight and sort out this second round well I thought I, I give it to Simon. I thought his pressure was better. Lucian got through with the odd counter, but Simon got through with a, a few heavy, heavy punches. Here's the third round. Lucian the challenger in the striped trunks. From Beckenham in Kent. Simon, the defending world champion in white. Simon, who was paid just 40 pounds for his first ever fight, he used to work in a diamond mine and was so poor early on in his career, he had to sleep in the gym. Those days are behind him now. He hopes really big money might be coming his way as a major figure if he can get America interested in him, but first he has to get past Lucian. a little change in the plot just not quite so keen to dive in Simon in this third round he's got Brian Mitchell in the corner who was a great world champion for South Africa not so long ago came over here and beat Jim McDonald he used to call him the road warrior he was so good in fighting away from home good right there and he's got Lucian this time started off with a right cross and he looks a bit shaken up now Lucian We'll have to take a mandatory eight. How much is that taken out of him? Is this the beginning of the end for Lushing? <laughs> Lushing always dangerous when he's hurt. We'll be waiting for Simon to try and make a mistake and lunge in. He's got him again, body shot this time, Lushing doubled up in pain, not sure he's going to make it, third round, he's struggling, it's going to be very close here, just about got to his feet, says he's okay, two knockdowns in the round, oh and he's got him again and it's waved off, it's waved off with the third knockdown, no count, Harry Simon retains the championship, never mind rouse over the judges, they weren't needed. And Kevin Lushing's effort to become a world champion ends exactly the same as his first attempt in the third round. Watched by wife Jackie there, you can just about see her watching at ringside. She'll be a little bit anxious, hoping Kevin is okay. They've got two lovely children at home.
but he was an outsider tonight and in the end Simon's power got to him in the third round and all that work in Peterborough has come to nothing and I wonder if that's the end of Kevin Lucian's career he's hinted at it well it could be I think that was a um, good performance from Simon he was a little over anxious at times leaping in but always the power looked in his favor and it was a, a thudding right hand which started it all and there was never really a let up after that he does seem to have a, an extra confidence just looking to pin him on the ropes and just find a bit of room for the right hand and there it is that big it. solid right cross wasn't it right cross Excellent shot. You can see Lucian holding his right arm, not allowing him to work, but Simon just found the, the right amount of room and got the leverage to get that powerful punch in. No upset to the form book here. And then he found that right to the body. I think Kevin Sanders, the trainer of Lucian, was complaining that might have been low. It didn't look it to me. It didn't look it, it looked a, a good, a good punch to the solar plexus. And at this point, Lucien in trouble, looking to try and get his punches off, but another little short one from Simon. And that was it, referee waving it over at that point. And Harry Simon looking a much, much better fighter than the one we saw over here in fights with the likes of Casey Kaihau and Del Bryan on his way up. He's been transformed by that World Championship win. 18 straight wins now for Harry Simon, and uh, I wonder whether he might fight somebody like Fernando Vargas or David Reed, the two young Americans who've become world champions. Interesting fight if American TV would be interested, but Kevin Lushing probably nowhere to go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and eight seconds of the third round, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner, and is still light middleweight champion of the world, Harry Simon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'd like to show your appreciation for a very gallant loser indeed, please, Kevin Belushi. Great next, Chris. Well, that step up to world class is so tough, isn't it? Next up, incidentally, Anthony Farnell, young prospect from Manchester, who's on a winning roll, 14 in a row. He hopes to be taking his part on nights like this in the future, but he was in action earlier against Alan Gilbert. We'll show you that one in just a moment or two. No fairy tale, I'm afraid, for Kevin Lushin. Here he is with Ian Dark. Well, Kevin, Hard luck. First of all, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Did my heart a bit heartbroken. Um, I was waiting for the left hook again, and I, you know, I'm looking back at it now. I had him going in the first round. I see him wobble, and I just didn't follow up. You know, maybe I'm always going to be the one that nearly called the nearly man. But, um, but I'm a bit disheartened now. And you know, I spoke to my wife before, and I said if I, I'm going to give it my 100% shot. If I didn't win this one, then I'm going to make a retirement, and this that will be this will be my last fight. You're definitely retiring. A lot of fighters say that, you mean yeah, it. They say that, you know, God has given me more gifts than one just to become a professional fighter and a champion. I've got other gifts another way, and I'm sure you'll see me on TV, but not in the ring this time. It's been a great sport. Boxing's been really good to me, and, and, and you know, it's helped me a lot. It's helped me achieve a lot from a, from a hard childhood. And, I, I, you know, I fought for a world title twice. I've fought against the best fighters. Maybe if it had been another time, I would have been not such a good champion, but fought such a good champion. But... That's it, that's the end of the day for me. I'm 31 and I want to spend a bit of time and see my children grow up. Well, that's uh, maybe a wise decision. Were there any moments in there tonight when you were catching him with those counters and you had him going in yeah. the first round when you thought, maybe, yeah. maybe it'll happen yeah, for me? I just thought, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't coming forward and that was giving me so much confidence. He was, he was, he was wary about coming forward and I thought I'd catch him again with that leg. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't catch on from the first time I caught him and I just thought now and again I caught him, he caught me with a good body shot um, and he didn't let me off the hook and um, yeah, as I say, that's boxing. How good is he? He's not as good as I thought. He's not, 
He's not in the same league as Trinidad, put it that way. When Trinidad gets you going, he puts you away straight away. But he's a worthy champion. Um, I don't think he's one of the best at light middleweight, but you know, only time will tell that, Ian. What are you going to do with the rest of your life then, Kevin? I don't know. I'm going to go on holiday now. I'm going to go off to Florida, Disney World with my kids, and I'll sit back with my wife. I've got a good agent in Dave Hahn. He'll get me some work outside outside boxing. Um, you, you haven't heard the last of me, you know, but you, you have in the ring. I'll give it all I can. And I appreciate Sky for filming most of my fights, and it's been great. I appreciate it. Thanks for the memories, Kevin. Thanks a lot. Thank you.